This week's Weekly Insight focuses on aspects of change and how we've been coping with change over the last year. Now, before I talk about this, if you like what you hear, please subscribe, like, comment and share so that I can keep bringing you the value videos that are purposeful to you and I can keep you informed of everything that's going on with what I do around mental health and well-being. Over the past sort of 10 to 12 months, we have been dealt a huge hand, the element of change and how we are and have been adapting due to this global COVID pandemic. I guess nobody would have ever foreseen what was coming, but it has, and it has impacted every single one of us, without a doubt. Change is something that is evident, as we know. Change is ever present in our lives, and we are constantly, constantly learning how to manage and adapt to change and evolve. This is key if we are wanting to survive and thrive and move forward, the growth. If you haven't heard or read of Stephen Covey's book, I highly recommend this one, and I'll tell you the title in just a minute. But in this part of his book, Stephen Covey offers a lot of insight with his famous circle of concern and circle of influence. In this post, we will be exploring just one area of Stephen Covey's model, how to use the circle of concern and the circle of influence to manage change. I mean, let's face it, for many, this has been a truly challenging year in so many different ways. And that's me included in, within that. Now, how often and how many different ways have you been challenged? have a moment to think about it. I have come across so many people who are incredibly resilient and even they have been tested to their maximum capacity. And without a doubt, this third lockdown has truly tested and impacted people's mental health and well-being so much more than the first lockdown. What are your thoughts on this? Perhaps just take a moment to stop the video and reflect. Now for me, I have had to really dig deep into my tool bag to find resources that would support my own mental well-being. Even as a coach or as coaches out there, we need support from time to time and time to work on ourselves, self-development, self-awareness, whether this is every day or occasionally. Now as promised, I'm going to share with you Stephen Covey's circle of concern and the circle of influence. But remember to subscribe, like, share and comment. The circle of concern and the circle of influence comes from his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Thumbs up if you've heard of it and if you haven't, highly recommended to get it. Here I'm going to share one of his habits, as mentioned earlier, from his model, which is based on the idea that we can become more aware of our productivity by looking at where we focus our energy and time. Now, as many, now, how many of us actually waste or lose time and energy in possibly unnecessary tasks where we could fundamentally have spent it on doing something much more productive and purposeful. I'm definitely guilty of that, hands up to that. Yes, absolutely, we all have things that we are concerned about. Like Brexit, global issues, homeschooling, schools staying at home, economic uncertainty, unclear about the lockdown restrictions, post lockdown, it's endless. Just when we are feeling like we are going okay, that we're, you know, we're moving forward, suddenly <laughs> that rug is pulled out from under us again. So think about it like this. Each of us has our circle of concern. But the important thing about this circle is that there is very little we can do to change them. 
We might worry about them, but we cannot control them. This is where I emphasize the importance of control. Uh, what, can, what you can and allow what you cannot pass. Easier said than done, right? We also have our circle of influence. It's smaller and this will vary on individuals. And this includes all the things we do hold some influence over. Perhaps pause the video and take a moment here to note down the things that you can control and the things that you cannot control and that you have influence over. So what might fall into this circle of influence, you ask me? Well, this could perhaps be you can influence your partner's mood with a hug or even a joke, but you cannot control it. You can choose to go to the shops at the earliest time possible to avoid the mad rush, but you have no control over when others may go. You may go to the shops super, super early to grab that paper, that toilet paper roll that we all need, but you have no control over the empty shelves where the toilet paper sits. The idea here is by stopping, noticing and evaluating which of these two circles takes up most of your time and energy. You can then start to see the level of your productivity. I mean, there's lots of examples I could use, but then this video would go on forever. The idea and the concept of this is to travel down the road of self-awareness and self-improvement so that you may come to learn that the only thing in life that you have control over is yourself, your thoughts, your behavior, your actions, and this is the circle of concern. Again, easier said than done, right? In these serene times, it would even seem logical, easier to take on board, but you need to work at it. Self-awareness and self-development do not happen overnight. There is no magic wand. It takes time, consistency, and importantly, the desire to truly wanting to change. Now you're probably thinking, what happens when we're all living through a pandemic? What when we have to stay strong for our kids and our families? When the entire world is going through one of the most unexpected and challenging times we have ever known and most of us are affected one way or another. The thing is that our lenses start to get blurry. Without clarity all around us, we start focusing in on the specific things, the things that we don't want rather than the things we want. We focus on the things that are going wrong. Where we lose sight and can't find the perspective and the clarity anymore, and what happens, we fall into the pitfall of assumptions, that everyone sees what we see, everyone feels what we feel. Everyone fears what we fear. The negative energy created by that focus causes the circle of influence to shrink further and further and further and further. So what are your thoughts on this? Does this sound like you? Have you experienced this? How many of you have got frustrated, angry or felt more anxious at the thought that you would feel so much better if other shoppers simply followed rules just like you. For example, in wearing a mask in the shops. The problem here, or the problem that arises next is that we respond in a way that we wouldn't respond normally. We start acting differently. Our brains and our emotions take control to protect us, but by ending up causing us more damage. So in this instant, you need to stop, breathe, take a step back and then 
ask yourself, what is in my control? How can I be the boss of my mind, my brain? Not letting the negative hijack your thoughts and em your emotions. The idea is not to ignore, but to acknowledge and return your state of blurriness into a clearer lens, a crystal clear lens. The way that you can do this is, for instance, to view yourself from the lens of uh, a great friend, somebody inspirational. Give yourself the time and the grace to deal with your emotions and acknowledge your truth. Like I said before, this takes time, but you will be surprised with the results and the benefits of it, but you have to be consistent. So the next step is to work out what is the one small, tiny, tiny thing you can do in this specific situation. Note this down in a notebook, journal, or even on your phone, and then look at the following questions that will help you reflect on the event. So here are some of the questions that you can ask yourself. What one thing around that topic is in your control? Looking at that topic, what parts of it do you like? What unhelpful influences do you need to get rid of? What unhelpful routines or habits do you need to get rid of? What helpful habits would you add to feel more in control? After you've answered all these questions, stand back and look at your answers and then evaluate what's their impact and what is it that what what is that one action that you will do the circle of concern and influence is a great resource to remind you that even in the midst of your challenges there is always one thing you can control guess what that is that's right your thoughts your behavior and your actions. So, whenever a situation feels hopeless, remember the answer lies inside of you. You simply have to ask the right question to get to it. Now, if you have found this valuable, then don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment. Now, before I go, I want to leave you with this one quote by Viktor Franklin. Everything can be taken from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. I'm Zinat Narani, wellbeing and mental health coach and therapist at Vida de la Mariposa, translated to Life of a Butterfly. And if you want to know how I can support you to empower your life, to live the life you desire by helping you find and forge your path through the darkest of times to shine your light. Why not book a call, a free discovery call with me at https colon forward slash forward slash cannily.com forward slash Zenat Narani. And don't forget, subscribe, like, share and comment. Do share your comments because that's what helps me and inspires me to create these videos for you.